Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Hope you're enjoying the weekend. We are having a rainy, drizzly, cold day here that um, hopefully will start melting off some more of our snow so that spring can pop up here pretty soon. So, but hope you're enjoying the weekend. Uh, Daphne, good morning, Daphne. Daphne left me a message recently wanting to know if I could share some details about how I clean my stamps and the process and products that I use. So I thought I'd hop on here and just do a really quick chat about that. So she wanted to know about um, not only my, like my clear stamps, but any uh, vintage stamps that I might purchase as well. So just real quick, if I use a stays on ink and I do really like like using black stays on especially if I'm going to be watercoloring or I sometimes I use it a lot for my sentiments if I'm using stays on ink I always clean off the ink with stays on cleanser it's a solvent cleanser um, it works really really well if I do clean my stamps with the solvent cleanser I always follow it up with a second cleaning of the Stampin' Up Stampin' Mist that kind of just cleans and then conditions the stamp as well now I've had this little bottle since I was a Stampin' Up demonstrator eons ago, probably 25-ish years ago. Um, and then I've since bought this replacement bottle uh, from a yard sale, actually. It was brand new and it was like 50 cents or something ridiculous. Um, and I have quite a bit in here, so I don't have the need to purchase any cleansing um, products anytime soon. But these are the two cleanser cleansers that I am currently using. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Stays on and the Stampin' Mist are the two cleansers that I currently use. And I've been using these since I started stamping. Now, um, if I'm going to be cleaning a stamp that um, um, is just a wood mounted stamp and has ink on it, what I used to use was the Stampin' Up, uh, Stampin Up um, stamp scrubber. It was that folded portfolio. It had a cleaning scrubbing pad on one side and like a um, drying um, scrubby pad on the other side and you close it up like a book. I don't use that any longer. I always found that when I um, wash the scrubbing pads, they kind of warped and I just got tired of purchasing different um, cleansing pads or, you know, the whole unit itself. So I was using just a white tea towel basically um, to clean my stamps. I would spray the stamp and then I would just use this to kind of blot um, the cleansing powder or the cleansing spray up and um, you know, dry off the stamp. Then I realized um, one year, one day last year, early last year, I think, um, my friend Lydia was using one of these in one of her videos, and I thought, well, that is the perfect solution for me because I love the scrubbiness of the Stampin' Up um, stamp scrubber, but I did not like how it always warped and it always took up so much space as well. So I thought this was the perfect solution. It's a very similar little scrubby um, pad that's mounted on a wood block that's super easy to hold on to. It's like the perfect size and this also peels off um, and you can wash this um, the scrubby pad separately or you can even buy replacement pads and it doesn't make you uh, require you to wash um, the block and the adhesive and the velcro that holds the scrubby pad onto the block which I really like because then this isn't getting all damaged from continued wash and um, yet you're still able to keep a nice clean scrubby pad um, on your block so I really really love this I purchased this on Amazon um, I am not an affiliate or a designer or anything for Hero Arts. I just saw Lydia using this and thought it was going to be the perfect for, solution for me, and it is. I absolutely love this product. Um, I've actually even taken this off and scrubbed it really, really good. I've used it a couple times since I cleaned it, but you can see that it is stained. It's very, very clean, but it is stained from the kinds of inks that I clean on here. And most of the time I use black inks for my um, outline stamping and um, this vintage sepia ink, which is an, also an archival ink. So those are both going to be staining inks on this scrubby pad, but it doesn't bother me. I know that it's clean. I just know that it's stained. So let me go ahead and quickly show you how I would clean this stamp. This is an old penny black stamp and I have used it um, to stamp an image and I did not clean it specifically so that I could show you how I do it. So I just take my Stampin' Mist and there's all different kinds of um, stamp cleaners. You can even make your own. This is just one that I've had forever and since I got the refill um, for so inexpensive at a yard sale, it's just the one I continue to use, but I also really like it. I like how it smells. It does a really great job of cleaning and so why change what uh, works? So I just give it a quick spritz or I'll even spritz uh, the cleaning pad here itself and then I just hold the stamp and give it a good scrubbing. 
and you can see that it completely took all the ink off of the rubber stamp. The other thing I like is that um, with this little scrubby pad, when you clean the stamp, you're not actually pressing down and scrubbing the wood surface. And uh, so I really like that it doesn't um, continually damage the uh, wood product here. So that's how I clean those. Sometimes when you buy a used stamp, it's really, really hard and brittle. You can hear that. This, if I push this down here, it would actually snap. The rubber would crack and break. Sometimes you can clean these and get them to give you a good stamp impression. But I find if they're really super brittle like this, even soaking them in like glycerin and things like that doesn't really rejuvenate them. Certainly not to how they were when they were new. But sometimes you can get them soft enough to give you a fairly good impression. But this one is really, really hard. Um, I'll just go ahead and give it a quick cleaning here. This is a stamp I bought on eBay years ago. It was really hard and brittle when I got it. I've never been able to kind of um, recondition it to soften it up any. Um, but, you know, you can certainly try. You can try soaking a stamp, you know, putting a little bit of glycerin on a plate um, just so it creates a little thin... Uh, pool and then just setting the stamp down in it and letting it sit overnight in that glycerin and, and like I said sometimes you'll get a little bit of a softer uh, recovery on that rubber but not always this one was exceptionally hard when I um, received it in the mail you can hear how hard it is compared to that um, so you know, I just usually keep this one on my shelf. Don't worry about using it as a legit stamp. I just keep it on my shelf as a really cute little image for spring. So, you know, that's one of the things about stamps as well, if, is if that rubber gets super hard and brittle, you can sometimes recover it, but not always. So I'll just set those aside. And um, I'll talk a little bit about um, cling mount stamps. Now I'm gonna use the same process if, it, if the stamp is clear, um, I'll just make a couple extra comments about ink. So if you have a, let me get this little guy out of here. If you have a cling mount set, um, these are stamps that are unmounted but have the cling on the back. Uh, this is one of my whippersnapper stamps. Uh, what I do is I like to mount them on a block or a stamping press. So, um, you know, pretend I'm making a project with my stamp here. I've inked it up and now it still sits on my um, my Misty platform here. And so I just do the same thing. I usually just spritz this and give it a good scrub. And the platform holds the stamp in place and uh, lets me scrub the stamp all different directions to make sure I'm getting all of the ink off of that stamp. And then once it's dry, I can go ahead and pull it off of the platform and put it into my storage container again. So that's how I clean my cling mount stamps. I clean my clear mount stamps the same way. I just leave them adhered to the stamping block or to the lid of my Misty here and clean them the same way. Now, one thing I'll mention about clear stamps, you should not really use solvent inks with them. And if you do, you need to clean them right away. Solvent inks over time will harden uh, the photopolymer uh, that the clear mounts clear stamps are made out of and it can make them really brittle. So if you do use a solvent ink on them like Stazon, just clean them right away. And like I said, I use the Stazon cleaner and then I follow it up with a cleaning of the uh, Stampin' Mist just to get that solvent cleanser off of the rubber stamp. And I haven't had a problem with them. Um, long ago, I was using solvent inks uh, with some clear stamps and I wouldn't bother cleaning them. Um, they've all become very, very brittle um, and you know, some of them even unusable. So just be very careful if you are using a solvent ink. You want to clean them off. You want to clean that off of your uh, clear stamps specifically really well. All right. So I hope that's helpful, Daphne. And um, hope you all enjoyed this little video here. I do love these little tea towels. Um, oh, other thing I'll mention too is if I do get a stamp in the mail that um, has been a used stamp and sometimes you get stamps and they're just coated with ink. Like you have no, like it's like they just smashed it into the ink pad and there's ink everywhere. 
What I'll do is I'll actually take it to the sink and I'll use a little bit of Dawn dish soap and one of these little uh, nail scrubbing file um, or brushes. And I'll actually use this brush and that Dawn dish soap to really gently kind of work the bristles into the stamp and really get a lot of the ink out of the stamp. I've even been successful cleaning off the wood blocks um, and getting you know a lot of that um, ink or pigment out of the wood block and um, using the Dawn dish soap to really kind of work that ink off. Once I have that process done, um, I rinse it off. And because I've added water to the entire block, I wanna make sure that I am pressing as much water out of that stamp as possible. So I'll use a white towel like this and really press that water um, out of that stamp and try and get as much as I can out of that rubber. I don't want the water to um, cause a problem with the adhesion of the uh, cling mount to, or the foam to the wood block or to the rubber. So I wanna make sure I kind of press as much of that water out of it as I can. And then I set it to dry. And when I set it to dry, I set it up on its side like this so that water can drain um, from the stamp uh, downwards using gravity. So, but anywho, I hope that's kind of helpful for you. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, this uh, little product here has really changed um, how I clean my stamps. It's just a, such an easy product to use. I'll leave a link down below to the um, the uh, item on Amazon um, so that if you can find this if you'd like to. I'm sure that you can find it other places. You're, I think the seller on Amazon actually is a little scrapbook shop that has a, uh, you know affiliate sell, sale site on Amazon. Um, but uh, I'm sure you can find this on other um, sites as well, like probably Simon Says Stamp, um, Cherry on Top, or, you know, Franz, uh, Frantic Stamper, or, you know, all kinds of different places probably sell this, who sell other Hero Arts products. But I just thought I would mention this because I absolutely love this thing. It's super easy, easy to use, and it really has um, changed the way that I clean my stamps because it's such a quick and easy process now. It doesn't become an extra chore when I'm stamping, and... Uh, I just find this thing really, really um, helpful. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know below and I'll talk to you again soon.